Wow, smell. Hey, this actually looks like Sherson's color. <laughs> Good. That is an explosion of flavor. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, Tomodachis. Hello, Tomodachis. Today, we're going to be cooking another recipe. Yes. So, Jamie <laughs> Oliver's recipe versus Eric's recipe. Yes. So, I've created this also grilled fish recipe using mm. my research on the internet. So, hopefully, if we do anything wrong, our Malaysian Tomodachis can tell us as well. So, we are making two different kinds of ikan bakar, so grilled fish in Malaysian. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you want to see us try this out and put them against each other for a taste test, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get on with the cooking. All right, let's prepare. All right, let us explain ingredients. For Jamie Oliver's recipe, we have tomato paste, shallots, lemongrass, peanuts, large chilies, kefir lime leaves, ginger, some salt, or fish sauce. The Malaysian style paste that we're going to use chilies, small bird eyes chilies, kefir lime leaves, shallots, galangal, ginger, lemongrass, dried shrimp, our dried chilies that have been soaking in water, sugar, and some oil as well. Flounder, banana leaves. All right, so for our paste, both of them start the same way. We have to peel all of the shallots. Okay, let's peel. Okay. Shallot. Makoto is gonna be using a mortar and pestle, or a crock. I'm gonna cut the head and tail first. Yes. And I will be using a hand blender. Sorry, Uncle Roger. <laughs> Sorry, children. I will put them into... Mortar well, and pestle. Yeah. <laughs> it's very heavy. <laughs> and you don't have to cut them too fine because the blender is going to do most of the chopping. But you want to make the blender li blender's life a little bit easier. So just a rough chop is fine. Okay, let's cut the ginger. Yes, and I will do ginger and galangal for the different paste. Mm. So let's just slice up the ginger. So galangal is actually a lot harder than ginger, so we want to be a little more careful. Watch your fingers when you're cutting this. So the ginger and the galangal, they're going to join our shallots. You just cut the chilies. And for me, I'm going to de-seed them because we have quite, quite a lot of chilies. So these big ones, we don't need all the seeds inside. Mm. Okay, chilies into the mortar and the pestles. With these chilies, a rough chop. So we'll just give those a rough chop as well. Rehydrated wow. chilies. So these are dried chilies that have been soaking in some hot water for about 20 minutes. And as you can see, they're very soft and sort of puffed up now. Do you like Jamie Oliver? He doesn't want to look. Oh, that's how you feel about Jamie, huh? Okay. <laughs> so next is our lemongrass. Oh, it's hard. It's tough. Oh, but it smells so good. I just cut it. Random. Like a Jamie only. Oh, random. So we're going to make random, random fish. This time was better than egg fried rice. Totally oh, much rice. better. Fried lemongrass. Smells really Thai. <laughs> yep. Right, and we're going to put our lemongrass with our chilies. Right, so next we're gonna take care of our kefir lime leaves. We wanna get rid of this vein right in the middle because it's tough. So you can just cut it out very easily. So the middle is a necessary part. Yes. We just take our knife and we slice. And this gives us beautiful thin slices, as you can see. I'm gonna pound them into the paste and I will be chopping up some dried shrimp. So this shrimp has been soaking in water for about 20 minutes. Wow, smell! <laughs> Southeast Asia! So next we take our dried shrimp and we're just gonna give them a fine chop. So just go through your little pile, make sure they're finely chopped. In Japanese, surimachi. Yes, so suri means to uh, grind. And bachi means pot. Yep. Suribachi. But wow. The shape is so different, the Japanese one, right? Yeah, and the nice smell now. So next, I'm gonna slow peanuts into here. Make, make it into a paste, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is Jamie Oliver way. Right next is the two spoon of 
fish sauce. Two spoon. Wow, it smells really good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right, so next, let's make our paste. So we've got our galangal, ginger, and shallots in here. And we're going to add a little bit of oil to this. So maybe a couple tablespoons. We're also going to add this leftover shrimp water that we had for soaking our shrimp. This is very flavorful. And we're going to blend this down into a nice thick paste. So let's go. Yeah. So this is our shallot galangal ginger paste. And next we are going to do our chilies and lemongrass. So you can use the same bowl, no problem. And this is going to be our second item that we're going to be stir frying today. Of our shrimp water. Another two, let's say three, three tablespoons of oil. Here we go. And there you go. Our chili is nicely blended. Hey, this actually looks like Sherson's color. <laughs> right, yeah. Let's make our chili paste. Oh, samba belachan. So our belachan is heating in the stove until it gets toasty and fragrant. And yes. we can really smell it in the, in the studio right uh, now. <laughs> preparation for the chili paste. As you can see, Jamie Oliver's is done. Yes. And we're just going to add a little bit of salt to that. All right, salt. And yeah, that's finished. And as you remember from the video, Jamie did not stir fry his paste. We're going to add a generous amount of oil, so a, a, a couple more tablespoons. Let's add our shallot galangal mixture. Shallot galangal and ginger, what a wonderful combination. Though. The water is starting to evaporate, so we're getting that oil starting to creep back out again. Now let's add our chili paste. But we're going to cook this down until it's thick and dark. We're going to go in with our belachan, which has been toasted and crumbled. Whoa, dried shrimp. Alright, so let's stir this in and keep cooking. This is our sambal partway through the cooking. As you can see, it's starting to get darker. We want to keep cooking this until it's sort of a really rich, dark, mahogany color. And to that, we're going to add some sugar. So about maybe two tablespoons. All right, I think we're done. Look at that. Wow. So, sauce complete. So we've completed two versions of our fish paste today, right? Yes. And uh, hmm, this one looks much darker. That one oh. looks much brighter. Let's open our pack of banana leaves. I can't wow. believe we found this here in Tokyo in winter. So big. Banana leaf from Thailand. <laughs> All right, so here's our flounder that we're gonna prepare our dishes with today. So I think what we're gonna do Let's cut some slashes in here so that all of that flavor can get inside. So we're just going to make some nice deep cuts into the meat, like so. And we're going to do it on the skin side as well. All right, so let's turn the heat on. And what we're going to do is we're going to lightly run our banana leaves over the heat. So just gently run the leaf along the flame. Right, banana leaf. Yes, we toasted it over the flame for a little bit to make them soft. And uh, Jamie just wrapped his fish just like that. But I'm going <laughs> to use some kitchen paper and some foil just so we have a more secure package. Let's paste it. So this one still looks really bright and fresh because we didn't <laughs> cook it at all. No steered. Browner. Okay, so all of the parts covered in the delicious yeah tomato paste tomato paste <laughs> tomato paste tomato paste so actually our tomodachis told us that in malaysia they also use tomatoes sometimes mm. but not the paste they use mostly fresh tomatoes ah okay like this 
fold. Right. Wrap it into a padlock. Done. All right, and for a more Malaysian style one, well, my, my own take on it anyway, we're gonna rub this chili mixture into the fish. <laughs> looks very different. It looks so different. <laughs> Uh, if our Malaysian tomodachis can give us some pointers, I'd really appreciate it to improve my own cooking for Malaysian food. We learned a lot. Yes, and always learning. And everything has been super, super tasty so far. <laughs> so I think we're gonna wrap it like this. And here is our packaged fish done. Now, let's stick it in the oven. Whoa. So it's gonna go into a 200 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Look at Whoa. that. Pretty good! Okay, so let's begin by opening Jamie's recipe. Open like this, and here's the reveal. Whoa! And whoa! <laughs> Looks so different, like two different kinds of cuisine. So let's serve our fish. Whoa! It's very soft. Yeah, it's soft. Ooh. And wow. I cannot see where we should cut. Hmm. Maybe around here. Oh, very soft. Is it the difference? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Super silky soft. <laughs> wow, why? Compared to the Jamie's one? Yeah, I don't know why though. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Taste it. We are ready. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> Jamie's. Yeah. All right. So let's taste uh, Jamie's one first. Yes. So this is the ikan bakar with the tomato paste and without stir frying the chili paste that we made. Mm. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh. Oh. Mm. Actually. Mm. That's really good. A little bit low, right? <laughs> I feel just a little. I think maybe the shallots did not get all the heat through, but the mm. flavor, the flavor itself is not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, peanuts. Mm. Crunchy. Crunchy, but I want it to be <laughs> good. A little more, what's it called? Steered. Blackened would be good. Mm. Mm. But right, the flavor but, combination is nice. Right, it's not bad. Mm. It's not bad. So if you stir fry the paste at the beginning just a little bit, I think perfect. I think better there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I tried to make it as simple as possible. So yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, <laughs> oh so different. So this this smell is much more sea, seafood. Yeah, and sambo. Oh, oh, good. That is an explosion of flavor. Wow. Mm. More spicy, mm. more nice texture, more umami. Oh, so good with the lime. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. So I think this fish is softer also. Maybe because we wrapped it a little more. So oh. the water is all trapped inside. It's not evaporating out. So that is our exploration into two different kinds of grilled Malaysian style fish. One from Jamie Oliver and one from some sources that we found around the internet. They're both good, but personally, I think I like this one better. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Just because everything seems to be more balanced, cooked mm. together more. It tastes more similar to what I've had before, like in Thailand and in, you know, traveling around Southeast Asia. Anyway, if you want to see us explore more versus series like this, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How's the Jamie's sushi recipe? Vegetarian and one.